Hello fashion sewers, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to sew a convex and a concave seam. I'm Colleen Geely and this is Fashion Sewing Blog TV. And here we have the seams, we have a concave seam and a convex seam. And as you can see I've actually stay, stay stitched on, within the seam line of both of the curves and this is just to stabilize the grain because we are working on a curve. Now I'm going to show you how to sew the concave onto the convex. The next thing to do is actually to clip into or snip into the actual seam allowance to the stay stitch and you do that all the way around about 1.5 centimeters that's 5 eighths of an inch so you have that kind of, of a look your seam. Here we have the convex seam and now going to put the concave seam onto the convex. This is so um, confusing. So we've got the seams matching up, the raw edges matching up and then I'm going to pin it into place. Hope you can see that. And then we do that all the way around. So remember actually snipping into the actual seam makes it more easier to actually fit this into position. So I'm going to continue all the way around and I'll take it to my sewing machine. Um, as you can see I'm at my sewing machine and it's always a good idea to try and make sure that the work that's on top is, is, is kind of bunched up but not too bunched up that you can't really see what you're doing or you don't want to trap it when you actually sew. So go slowly as you go around the curves. And when you think you may have a little bit of a tuck in the actual seam, do use the hand wheel. Now I'm coming up to one here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to raise my foot, manoeuvre it away towards the back of the machine, foot down and then it will be a case of just going back, hand wheel again. This is, this is what you need, you need to do to make sure you don't get little pluckers in your actual work. Move the needle. And come on to another one. So I've got my hand wheel, feet up. As you can see there, I'm getting that out of the way, keeping it as flat as possible. Put my foot down, turn my work as I'm doing it, needle is down, and then start sewing again. Now, because I'm coming to the area of the actual peak, if you like, of the curve, it'll be a case of making sure it's as flat as possible and then continuing. To sew and pulling your pins out as you go. Needle down, see a little tuck there, just manoeuvre your work as you go and I'm going to continue sewing all the way down and that's what the technique you need to have when you're actually sewing the actual seam. The seam is now sewn as you can see and I now need to make sure that the convex seam is going to be flat when I actually come to press that. So we need to cut little triangular wedges out of the actual seam and that will enable it to lie flatter and that will be about 1.5 centimetres. Let's get the tip of my scissors, another one there and I'm going to continue doing that all the way around. Now you can actually see where I've actually clipped into the seam, both the concave and convex, and we now need that seam to lie flat. So I'm gonna get the tip of my iron and press along the stitching line all the way around. Now here we have it, the convex joining a concave seam. Now if we turn it around the back, you can see now how the seams are now lying flat and that's what you need to do. You need to press on the actual stitch line and then you need to cut into the both seams in order for it to lay flat. 
There may be times when you need to sew a convex to a concave seam and I hope the, the technique that I've shown you today will prove to be helpful. The key is to remember in order for the curved seam to lie as flat as possible is to cut into the seams at both stages and you'll get a nice smooth finish. If you have any questions or queries please do put them in the comments box below and I'll see you next time.